hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another diy so in today's video we are going to be making the sailor not african print drop headband so let's get straight into the video so i'm going to be using three ropes for this diy this rope is about 10 millimeters thick and it's um 80 centimeters and these are the scrap fabrics that i going to be using so i'm going to be cutting two inches of the fabric is the fabric is two inches wide and um on on the length i make sure that it's at least about an inch or two inches longer than the rope Then I fold it in half and then I sew it on my sewing machine and I leave um, a seam allowance of about one centimeter. Then after that, I now turned uh, them inside out using a safety pin. And then when I was done, I also inserted the ropes into the little fabrics using a safety pin as well. And here I was basically making the knot, I was making the sailor knot and this is just how I do it. It's just basically like a knot, a regular knot but it's a double knot. Then I just manipulate it until it gets to a neat shape. And then I just try to pull it really tight. So after that, I will now put it over my head. I put it over my head and then I measured how much space was left behind so that I could close. And it was about 9 inches but then I reduced my elastic so that when I put it over my head it would be a little bit tighter. And then I cut about 7 inches elastic strips. So because my elastic uh, was very thin, I cut 3 of them. If I had a wider elastic, a wide band of elastic, I was just going to, to cut once. But then I had to make them 3 because the elastic was very thin. So I took this little fabric it was about 12 inches you can make it 14 inches like maybe the double of your elastic to enable it for stretching and the width was about four inches as well like 
Then I just turned it inside out using a safety pin. Then I now took the same safety pin and I started to insert the elastics into the little fabric strip. And then when I had finished inserting all the three elastics, I now started sewing them to make sure that they don't move or get lost inside that little fabric. Until I can sew, I can attach it to the main part of the headband just to make sure that it's in place. Then I took these little 2 by 4 inch fabric squares and then I just folded in the inches about a centimeter or so and then I folded it in half and then I sewed them on the sewing machine. So after sewing them on the sewing machine, I now turned them inside out and they look like that. Then I inserted both of them onto the elastic band strip thing. So now I had to now attach that elastic to the main part of the headband. I used the zipper foot for this. I removed the regular foot that comes on the sewing machine and then I put the zipper foot to make it easy to sew. So after that I now push those little fabric strip thingies onto the part where there are threads and stuff exposed and then I just put some hot glue onto the edges to make sure that they do not move that they stay in place. This is just to make the headband neat and to hide all the rough stitching. So that is basically 
almost the end of the video now the last step is to make sure that your knot does not come apart or move so after manipulating it and making sure it's neat you now put some hot glue onto it to make sure that the knot stays in place So, and that is the end product and that is how it looks like so last uh, my last video was of these rope earrings that I made it's African print rope earrings and um, the plan was to make only one pair of earrings and I ended up making five because I was just inspired so if you are interested in seeing that video I'm going to link it so that you can also check it out thank you so much for watching this video guys bye